Hello family, grace to you. Once again, this is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. The title of today's message is Christ Followers in Word Only. Christ Followers in Word Only. My son Jonathan, when he was born, he, he's the love of my life. He, he's a great kid. He, he's, he's always been amazing. We've never had one day's worth of trouble out of that kid. And he's now 26 years old. But when he was small, he would study me. He would just he would just focus in on what I was doing and he learned what I was doing and he tried to mimic whatever I was doing. I had to be very careful about what I did around him because he sure enough would watch me and he would follow me. He would attempt to do it, whatever it was I was doing. And I, I loved it. I I just fell in love with that with that. Just I came to a, re a new realization what being of what being a role model actually was. It, it's literal, being a role model. That person is modeling every role that you're filling in life. And if I were to fast forward to the time that I passed away, and there was a documentary crew or a film crew or a scribe following me around throughout my life who jot down notes and took uh, meticulous notes of everything I did and said and compiled it into a book and gave it to Jonathan uh, on my behalf and just told him, hey, this is, for, this is for you. Your father wanted you to have this. And he took this compilation of notes, and he read it, and he studied it, and he loved it, but he didn't do it. Could you really call him a dad follower? Um, in my opinion, he would be more like a dad studier, because he's not doing what he sees or what he read about in the book, the things that I did. He wasn't doing them, he was studying them, he was reading about them. So I want to submit to you, and only you can answer this question, are you really a Christ follower? Are you mimicking him? Are you doing what he did? Or are you studying him, reading about him, loving him in his loving his word, but not actually doing what he did? A true Christ follower will do the works of those that he's following. Jesus said, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than these shall you do, because I go to the Father. The Bible says that Jesus came and gave us an example that we should follow in his steps. So once again, I ask you, are you reading about him, studying him? Or are you actually doing the works that he did? He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He fed the multitude. He loved everywhere he went. He was the personification of love. So I'll leave you with that, and only you can answer that question. Far be it from me to judge any of you. But I'm striving in my life to be more Christ-like, which means that I'm, put, I, I'm making an attempt to be more of a follower of him by doing the works that he did while he was here on this earth. So I'll leave you with that today. And I'd like to encourage you that if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel to do so by clicking on the red subscribe button on your screen. By doing so, you'll receive notifications when new videos such as this one are posted. And if you are a fellow Christian YouTuber, I'd invite you to join us in our community located at micro-ministries.com. Now that community has been created solely to help drive traffic to your Christian YouTube channel. God has given you a word, and that word needs to be seen and heard by the multitude. So what we do is we offer support, encouragement, training, anything that we can possibly do to help drive traffic to your Christian YouTube channel. So once again, that address is micro-ministries.com. Now that is a private community, so you'll need an invitation. What you'll need to do is send me an email message at faithsmessenger at gmail.com, and I'll send that invitation out to you.
And last but not least, I would like to invite those of you who haven't done so already to join us on our blog at FatesMessenger.com. We currently have over 550 individual blog posts on the blog which address a myriad of different topics. Real life, relevant, everyday topics that each and every one of us can relate to. So once again, that address is FatesMessenger.com. Now with all that's been said today, I'd like to leave you with a question. Now this question can be applied to anything you may be experiencing in life. I'd like for you to ask yourself, is anything impossible with God? Have a great day, family. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.